Which coin is the new Ethereum? I have a lot of people asking that question. Today we're going to dive into that. My name is Paul Barron. This is Tech Path. Thanks for tuning in. If you guys, of course, are loving these market movers, the idea behind a market mover that we do from time to time is to break down some of the data that we find out there in the market, some of the tools we use, as well as our own proprietary information. We pull all that together and we provide you guys, a, hopefully, an analysis that gives you some insights to what you're doing, whether you're investing or maybe you're looking at different kind of companies, both from a stock perspective and then also cryptocurrency. So today we're on digital assets. The Cardano, uh, you're going to love this one. Before we get started, though, I always want to tell you guys, not investment advice. This is an educational and research package that's based on our own findings and options meaning where we uh, create our options to find our data. Uh, we're also not financial advisors and highly recommend that you do your own research and due diligence in your own investments, whether public or private. So that's, that's always something that we want to get into. Let's talk about the topics for today, why Cardano matters, uh, how to hedge for ETH, uh, and is there a hedge for Ethereum? Uh, projects galore, these guys are, are cutting loose on a lot of different things. And then also where the future trends a lie in smart contract uh, cryptocurrency and kind of breaking down some of those elements. One thing that, um, before we kind of dive into these, if you look at Cardano and Ethereum, many people will, you know, kind of look at Cardano as potentially a hedge for Ethereum. Obviously, at, at time of filming, Ethereum cracked over $4,000 yesterday, uh, and it's on its way, mark my word, to the 4300 in April and I have some really big numbers going up to around nine to ten thousand. If you have not watched my Ethereum video, make sure and watch it so far. I'm smack dead on in my predictions there, so check out the links uh, for our Ethereum video. But let's jump into why Cardano. Um, Cardano is smashing new all time highs following a 14% gain here. This is coming over from Cointelegraph. You can kind of see this cryptocurrency and where it's where it's been moving from. Uh, and it's, it's, it's an impressive, you know, both project when you look at where uh, Cardano has been trying to move. ADA, uh, of course, charted a 14% growth to reach $1.83 on most major exchanges, marking a new all-time high. It was also last seen hovering around 180. This was just this week, 14% on the day, 31% on the week, 47 in the month. Uh, this tells me a lot is that Cardano could be the new breakout coin that is very similar to Ethereum's breakout that we've seen in the past 60 days. Ethereum breaking out from under $2,000 a coin to now over $4,000 a coin. That I think is where Cardano is heading. And if you look at whether or not we could utilize Cardano as a hedge for Ethereum, I want to kind of look here because you can earn, let's talk about staking because this is something that's happening in Ethereum. As you guys know, you've probably been involved in staking out, uh, staking on ETH2. Same scenarios happening here with Cardano. You can earn up to four to 6% staking Cardano ADA, available on Kraken now. The next major milestone for this is uh, Cardano's multi-year development roadmap, which is the Alonzo upgrade. Uh, this is set to introduce the smart contract capability on the smart chain, on the blockchain, and input, output, Hong Kong, the development arm behind Cardano. It basically explained last month that Alonzo is being gradually deployed into mainnet via several test nets, early adopters and partners. So I look at this and I think, wow, this is ETH2 already. You know, it's moving in that direction. And I think that's kind of where uh, Cardano continues to interest me, at least when, when you look at the you know, the founder, George Hoskinson, you look at the team at, uh, at what is behind Cardano, what they're trying to do, which is really start to move, uh, I think, underserved uh, industries, cat categories, and sectors around smart contracts. And his mission to do this is really one of those that is a, a true mission of good. And I think that's the thing that really starts to separate Cardano, even though we do see that some in, in the ETH uh, platform. But let's look over here at uh, a, uh, just a quick story from Investor's Place. Cardano is at the forefront of the decentralized finance movement. Uh, there's a chance that it could go much higher than ETH. It's a restrictive efforts of the EIP, the 1559 and fee burns would have on supply. That's where ETH is really having a struggle is on the gas fees, though we are seeing some lightning on that. But right now with the right 
catalyst, ETH is probably going to blow past 10,000. So this will lay in with where I see ETH going this year before this bull run. Uh, basically, it's the seventh largest cryptocurrency by market cap, could double its price from current all-time high uh, into uh, doubling, I think, within the next few months. And this, of course, is going to be based on a lot of the partnerships that's coming into play. And from a percentage standpoint, ADA has seen much larger gains than ETH. So during its bull market so far, so it's almost 40X since last spring. That is a big difference here. Again, with ADA, um, I think this is one of those scenarios that you're in. If you're looking at trying to become one of those Bitcoin millionaires, this may be the coin for you in the sense of growth. Because it could be a lot like Ethereum. As we see the smart contract and we see Alonzo start to roll out uh, throughout the summer, I feel like Cardano is really going to start moving Additionally, if you look at the Cardano future here, which is something new partnerships see DeFi and NFTs coming to Cardano ADA. Uh, recent announcement culminated that ADA hitting an all-time high. This was a buck 69, uh, but it's gone up since then at time of filming. Nonetheless, developments are occurring in the background, ready to capitalize when the time is right. So this week, Occam, uh, which is a big NFT platform in conjunction with Bonley, gave us a glimpse of the, what was, they basically announced a strategic partnership to bring NFTs and DeFi to Cardano. This will be big. Uh, as we continue to see these kinds of partnerships develop with Cardano and kind of the vision behind what George has done, I think this is a sleeper, even though a lot of people are talking about Cardano here recently, and I think a lot of people have started to put a little bit of their uh, juice into Cardano, I think we are just getting rolling. Let's go into some of the predictions here because I wanted to take a look at where Cardano's um, track is going and kind of where it could potentially go. And again, this goes back to the influencer rating and the uh, sentiment. So sentiment, not a well-known coin, not like a Doge or an Ethereum or a Bitcoin. Doge, of course, has that sentimental uh, value and, and has great sentiment because just so many people are aware of it. Uh, but ADA uh, sentiment hovering around 60 points there, 59.31. Um, you look at this uh, in pre-May. Uh, this goes back April. Uh, then you see the bump at, and you see the influencer rating uh, rise on that bump to 59.11. Uh, and then you see the ADA sentiment slightly dip on its low. And that drops down to 55. That did That started to concern me a little bit, but then the influencers started to kick in on where Cardano was going, and they really kind of backfilled it all the way up its rise. So you had a 74.16 and then a 63.5 on the high tip there, meaning it started to lose a little bit. Now, this concerns me a little bit because of the fact that could, a lot of people say, where is the high on Cardano? Is it three bucks? Is it 10 bucks? The influencers backing off at about a buck 80, on Cardano tells me that we probably will see a little softening uh, in the coin before we start to see things come out. And of course, with the smart contract program uh, coming live this summer, I think we'll see a huge hit in a positive way for Cardano. And that will be kind of the next big move for Cardano in terms of, so this might be a good buying opportunity if you can get the coin during its softening period, if it drops back down to a buck 50, or below, definitely I would be a buyer uh, for that currency or for that crypto uh, coin. Let's jump over to trade the chain real quick. I want to kind of show you guys where we are on trade the chain with Cardano. All right, so let's take a look here on Cardano and you can kind of see it's active. Let me zoom in a little bit and kind of highlight it for you. And we'll drop here, $52 billion market cap. And of course we're seeing, hang on one second, let me get a good flow there. All right, so you can kind of see the bullish, let's zoom in right there. You see the weekly uh, bullish sentiment at 72, the long-term at 73, so holding very positive. Um, this concerns me a little bit is the average tweet volume still a little bit, and, and that kind of shows on the sentiment as I just showed you on that previous slide is it's a little bit low right now on tweet volume, which is a little bit concerning, but look at this uh, relative, tweet, uh, relative tweet volume to relative trade volume. This is 45% and a 24%. So people are buying Cardano right now, 
and this is a live feed from us as, as a filming of this um, from Trade the Chain. So you can kind of see the movement on this. And with bullish long-term and short-term, uh, this is one of those coins that definitely is in the ranks of Ethereum. And that goes back to my whole point. Let's just take a look at uh, quickly where Ethereum is today. Let's jump over here to the chart. As you can see, it took a nice little jump back down to 37. This might be another point for everyone to take a hard look at Ethereum. And let's kind of zoom in and see what's going on there. So it is rolling at uh, its high of almost 4,200 there. And you can kind of see it moving down here on this candle, which hasn't closed out yet at 37. So we could see 39. We could see that in the range of around 36. So this might be another opportunity for Ethereum buyers to continue to pad and cost average uh, in Ethereum. So this is, and the reason I say that is because with Ethereum and with Cardano, there's two elements here. Both with Ethereum and Cardano, you're gonna be looking at not necessarily pegging against each other, but definitely playing off of each other. So that is something to really factor in as you get into building your Cardano for portfolio or your Ethereum portfolio um, in terms of uh, your cryptocurrency. And again, as, and this is something I've talked about before, but I want to kind of give you guys a heads up if you haven't watched some of our other videos on uh, our market movers when it comes to cryptocurrency, is this bull run, we're anticipating a September softening. So that could be the end of the bull run if it does stretch to the end of the year. I don't see this going into 2022. Uh, and we see a lot of hedging happening right now in the stock market, people moving a lot of money into cryptocurrency and moving from the softer returns as we see the stock market continue to soften. This is gonna be something that uh, really, I think, starts to play into some of these cryptocurrencies like Cardano because of where this could go. So let's take a look at some of the projections. Cardano will spike on release of the new smart contract project, uh, Alonzo, and really start, I th think, to see some good volume. I want you to watch the key trading sentiment uh, plus the variance on the volume if you're if you use trade the chain or something like that there's there's four or five of the companies out there that do sentiment analysis that are live feeds in from twitter which are probably the best uh that can kind of get you in this going but i feel like this is where um, by september if our bull run ends in september now granted i'm going to say september but if the bull run st stretches on into december then you could stretch the movement on cardano out into the end of the year uh, to the $10 mark. That's my prediction is I think Cardano is going to hit the $10 mark and it will all depend on how well and how many more projects uh, get brought on like what we've seen uh, with uh, Occam and where the NFT model is moving. So a lot of, of key plays here for Cardano this summer and in through. And right now, this is a bull market for all of you playing in the digital currency space. And it's one of those times... It's like, you know, I just don't know. It, there's so much news coming at us. So many projects are moving into big deals. So many projects are putting together partnerships and really starting to gant out the whole flow of where that, you know, that project roadmap is really gonna go. In other words, we're getting answers for a lot of these projects that we had been and looking for and anticipating they're actually coming to fruit now, which I think is going to make for a very busy summer. And I don't see, unless we see a slowdown on project release, or if we see a slowdown on partnerships, which I don't anticipate with Cardano, I think they're going to continue to really kind of track well here. And maybe, you know, you never know, we're going to continue to try to get some of the coins on. We've had Algorand on the show. We, we're pushing out to as many coin uh, groups as we can to try to get them in to help us understand more and more about these projects to really do some deep dives in understanding the elements of where. And the reason I mentioned Algorand is because Algorand has a lot of similarities to Cardano. So if you haven't had a chance to watch that video, make sure and check the, our analysis with Algorand out because their technology has this smart contract layer that is very similar. They are also looking to do many of the kinds of projects where Algorand falls a little bit is the fact that they haven't put together many of their big partnerships, but I think some of those are coming. So a couple of coins to watch Algorand, I do like. I'm still a big uh, you know, proponent of Solana 
And if you're not watching Chainlink, you should be. Chainlink is another one that I would definitely try to stay real close to. Those are the coins that I'm really keeping high traffic on. Obviously, Bitcoin and Ethereum uh, are my two biggest holdings and will continue to be. But Cardano, Chain, uh, and also Algorand is a very interesting piece there. Polkadot, I've got some holdings there. And uh, I continue to see some movement. As I said, Solana, I'm still very interested in what they're doing there. There's a lot happening in the altcoin space. I think Cardano is the, um, the alpha male right now in terms of altcoins next to Ethereum. So that's kind of where I'm gonna go with this. As you guys are listening to this, maybe over on the podcast, make sure and subscribe to us. Give us a five-star rating if you like it. If you don't, just tell us why. Uh, and also, if you're checking this out on YouTube, make sure and subscribe right now. Hit the bell and also give us some comments. We love your comments, your feedback. Maybe you have an idea for someone here on TechPath, or maybe you want somebody on the show in terms of an interview. Uh, we've been very uh, lucky about getting some really great CEOs and a variety of, of new technologies and innovations. So just drop them in the comments or you can shoot us an email to producer at revernetworks.com. You can also hit me up on Twitter at Paul Barron and also our Twitter channel on uh, for the show, which is just at TechPath TV. You can also check uh, the TechPath podcast over on uh, TikTok. That's another great place. We've seen a lot of uh, engagement over there as well. So stay tuned right here for more stuff coming to you, hopefully on digital currencies as we continue to the space, see the space heat up as we are in, I think, the seventh, eighth, and ninth inning. And you guys all know that's when the fireworks happen. We'll catch you next time right here on TechPath.